everybody, it's Joy with joyslife.com and today we're going to work with the Cricut Expression 2 using the Life's a Party Cricut cartridge and we're going to make this cute little monkey because I'm trying to make a pin the tail on the monkey, not the donkey, uh, little game. So here he is. We're going to start with this layer here and I've not really gone way out with the colors. I followed exactly what is shown in the booklet. I'm going to do a dark brown for that layer. That's our bottom layer. And what that bottom layer does is allows us to see the branch and his little eyeballs will show through. Okay, so that's what the brown's going to do. And then for his ears and his paws that you see there, we're going to use this color, which is basically the same color that you see here. Now you see those little places where his eyes are all cut out. So that's where that brown's going to show through. So this is our base layer. Then we'll put this on top and then we'll do this layer here. And for that one, of course, I have another sheet of paper. So kind of a greenish brown that I've got. And then for the leaves, because we're going to add those to, I've got kind of a bright green. It was sitting around, so we're using it. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so let's get started. For those of you new to the Cricut Expression 2, it's very much like the regular expression, but there are a few differences. For instance, there are these little guides that allow you to get your paper in straight. It holds your mat on the side. And all we're going to do is press this button here. Of course, I wouldn't have it in far enough. Let's see. I'm going to make sure the mat is pushed in far enough. Then we're going to hit that button. And you see it'll just guide your mat right in. This screen is blank right now, but no worries. We're going to hit this button here at the top, and it's going to show us everything that's on our cartridge. As you see, the cartridge is in the back, left-hand side, and there it sits. It can also use Cricut Imagine cartridges, but it can't print. It can only cut them out. Well, today we're just going to work with the regular Cricut cartridge, and let's zoom into that screen and take a good look. Here we are, all zoomed in on the overlay. This is just like the overlay you normally have in a Cricut cartridge. It's just a digital one. So now we're going to hit the little monkey there. And to make him fill the whole mat that I have, I'm using a 12 by 12 mat, I'm going to hit that little button right there. Well, now I hit this, and you can make it larger or smaller, depending on which side you hit or press. With this monkey, he's only going to get to be 12 point, I'm sorry, 10.5 inches. The reason is he's got that big branch and everything on him. So he, that branch takes up a large amount of the mat. So we can't really have the monkey a full 12 by 12, but this is going to work. If you really need something bigger, try a 12 by 24 inch mat or use a gypsy and try to take up as much of the room as you possibly can. This uh, is what's going to have to work for me because my gypsy has died, sadly. A sad little death. Alright, so what we need now is hit this so we can go ahead and cut. So we'll do that. Now you'll see the blade come up, and these are my blade choices. I like to run my blade pretty high, so we'll stick with heavy paper and the original blade 6 and all that, but you feel free to set it according to the paper you're using and what makes you feel comfortable for your cutting needs. Now we hit cut. Okay, my monkey is all cut out, so I'm going to press this. You can use your finger too, but I'm just, I'm using a gypsy uh, stylus. I didn't really love the one that came with it, so put my gypsy stylus to work. Okay, let's take this paper off. Okay, our monkey is all cut out. Yay! I'm trying not to totally rip up my paper. I can still use some of it. I get excited. Loved seeing how it turns out. It's always a fun little reveal. Monkey! Sort of. Well, he looks a little plain right now, but he's going to look better soon. Isn't that a neat cut, though? It's pretty simple. This is a nice cartridge. Um, it layers very easily. Another layering cartridge that's very simple to use is Create a Critter. This one is just about that simple. Oh, look. I have a little place there. It doesn't look quite right. Okay, well, we'll make it okay. We can clip it off. No big deal. It's going to be a game. So, the theory of this game here is that, well, actually, I have a little bit of a problem. Well, the whole point of the game is, of course, to stick tails to the thing. You blindfold the children and spin around in a circle, and they have to stick a little uh, monkey tail on the monkey, and they try to get it in the right place. And I'm actually going to be using, let me see if I can find them. Oh, here they are. Ta-da! These new glue dots. I'm using the extra large glue dots. 
Now, I'm using some extra, extra large in another project that I'm doing, and those things are huge. You'll have to come to my website and joyslife.com and check it out. Look at that. Those are big, but the extra, extra large are even bigger. Hold on, I'm going to show them to you. I have to find them. Ta-da! Look at that. Is that crazy? Look how big that glue dot is. So that is the extra, extra large glue dot, but today we're just going to use the extra large. Look at that. You can use that for all kinds of embellishments. I think that's so cool. Pretty new uh, product that just came out, or is just coming out this January. Okay, let's move on with our monkey. I'm going to cut out the rest of the pieces, and then we'll assemble him. I realized I should take you on the rest of my monkey journey, so we're going to do this together, okay? All right, so here's the monkey, the next piece that we're going to do. Now, with this one, you want to hit shift. That's why it says monkey dash s. So that's what we're going to do. Let's zoom in on the screen. Zoom. All right, so here's monkey, right? But first, we'll hit shift. So there's shift, and there is monkey. All right, so now he's all good. And let's go ahead and make him, whoop make him big again. Make sure he's going to be ten and a half. I think he's still set up. Yep, okay, he's perfect. He's going to be ten and a half, just like the last one, so he'll fit. And now I'm going to hit home there, or what I'm calling home. And now we want it to cut. I've already loaded my paper, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I had to check and make sure. And um, there we go. We're going to hit cut again. Ta-da! I've already layered this monkey piece over it just to make sure it was the right size. Hey, I have those moments too. I haven't used my Cricut in a few weeks, months, okay, to be fair. I guess it has been months. I've been using my Silhouette Cameo, and um, I still love my Cricut. I just, I enjoy the Silhouette Cameo and the Cricut, but I was afraid my monkey piece wasn't going to fit there for a minute, so it's kind of funny. All right, check this out. Look at this. Oh, what I love about using die cutting machines, they make you look so good, don't they? They do great cuts, and that's so cute. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete that little guy right there. He's our last monkey. And be sure to take it off shift, because remember we used shift last time? Whoops. And don't hit something else. Just hit no shift. Alright, so now what I want to do is use the layer button. So let me find it. I'm so far away from it, I can't see it. All right, there it is, layer. So I'm hitting the layer button, or pressing the layer button, and then I am going to find the monkey. I'm sure you see him, and I do not. That's not him. That's him, okay. Found the monkey, I'm doing good. Now, just to make sure again that he's the right size, and I'm mainly paranoid because I only have one sheet of this paper. Okay, yep. Yeah. Talk about crazy, that's so unnecessary. It was ten and a half. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit home, and then there is my little cutout. This is our last piece. Well, besides, we have to do the leaves, but okay, so now we're gonna hit cut, 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 cut. All right, and again, for heaven's sake, what did I hit? I know you guys were watching. Okay, all right, now we're going. Okay, now I can tell you the rest of my story. I'm going to use those glue dots for um, sticking all the tails on during the game. So they're the glue dots again. And right now, I bet you're wondering, why is she cutting out a red monkey, right? Well, I was trying to tell you that my um, gypsy is dead, and it is, so I need some tails. And I was talking about how the cricket makes me look good. Well, it does, because it does all the work for me, and I don't want to cut out even any little tails. So I'm making it do that. And now it's cut out the tail part, so I'm just going to hit stop. And then it asked me if I want to eject the mat and return to my design. Yep, I do. What I'm doing is just stopping it where it cut out the tail of my monkey. And I'm using some paper that I don't like that I have left over. Because you know what? In a game, and I'm just going to tear that tail right off because I don't care. I'm going to cut it off anyway. Um, in a game, you're just going to, well in this game, you're just going to put the tail on duh, I said this like a hundred times, but you're just going to stick the tail on. So you really need tails that are several different colors so each child will know which tail is theirs. So they don't say, that's my tail, because they're all brown. So now we have a little red tail. Oh, you know what would work? If you're doing this, use question marks. Good idea. Also, this tail makes a good question mark. So, um, when the monkey's all done, 
we'll have these laminated. I'm going to use my Your Story, and I've got a video on how to use that. I use it as a laminator. It's a bookbinding tool as well, but uh, I really just laminate with it, to be honest. So, what they're going to do is have this laminated, and we're going to use one of the big glue dots and stick it onto the monkey, or they'll try to. It'll probably end up in his eye or something, but that's okay. That's part of the fun. All right, remember the leaves? We need to do leaves now. So what we just did was this part where we press layer and the monkey. Well, anything on this side, if see how it's in a little box and those two things are kind of in a box together and these two things, anyway, these two things, these two things, all those go together. So what you do is this one, this monkey part, you do with pressing layer and no shift, okay? Anything on this side, you're going to pr press layer and shift. So, for example, here, you would just press the card button, and you would be able to make that card. But if you want to make this layer for it, and I've got, I made this card before, I'll link to that. It, it turned out really cute, it was very easy. But for this side, you would do card plus shift. Well, then, you, of course, you have to hit this monkey button, which, by the way, they've now got on the cartridges, I mean, on the booklets, showing you exactly where it is. So, that is very helpful. Anyway, we're going to press layer, shift, and these leaves. So let's do that. Now I'm going to backspace so I can take off the monkey that we had before. Our layer button's still on, but I need to press the layer and the shift. So there we go. And now where the monkey was, you'll see the little um, leaves. Now I'm going to hit the home button and the leaves come up. We'll press cut. Okay, well my monkey looks like he's had a pretty rough day. He's all in pieces. What I'm going to do now is glue them together. There's our base piece that we first cut. Alright, and then you just layer the next piece. And remember I told you about those little eyes? See how that works together? So great. And now you still have the stem there. And I'll glue these off camera so you don't have to watch me glue. This little monkey is going to be, he's going to be perfect for a kid's party or anything that you might want to do. Of course you can make a smaller one. And, you know, use them for a scrapbook layout or anything. But this is so cute, even for a classroom, especially with the little ones, but anybody who likes monkeys. I used a Marvy punch, just a circle punch here, and I punched this green piece out from what we had left from making our little leaves. So what I'm going to do is make the tail be cute. I'll punch out another one and stick them together, I think. But whether I do or I don't do it like that, I think I will because that'll look ugly on the back if I don't do something like that. But my idea is to laminate those. Use the glue dot. Let me go and show you how big this thing is because I can punch more pieces. Whoa. Oh, I should have pulled just one off. Hold up. All right. I pulled one from the package now. Okay. So I got one dot on there. No problem at all. And this is going to be so easy, but look at that. So I'm able to stick that to that. And then, you know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and punch out another one so I can show you. I'm going to make it two-sided. Now, the reason I talk about laminating this is because you might uh, want to be sure that the kiddos aren't missing and sticking a lot of glue to your wall. So either do it on a door, you know, that maybe isn't as wanting to take sticky things and keep them forever as uh, some things, or, you know, laminate a larger area, maybe put this on a, on a bigger sheet of paper, you know, or on a 12 by 12 or something and let them go crazy. But just be careful what it is if you use if you're going to stick it to your wall. But anyway, so now we would pin the tail on the monkey and see how easy that is. Now you just use an adhesive on the back, something that won't ruin your walls, or remember, be careful where you put it. And then the winner would stick it right there. But he's blindfolded, so it might go anywhere, probably on his eye. Okay, I'm going to glue this guy together, and we'll take a look at him. Yay, our monkey's all done. Isn't he cute? He's just hanging around. Of course, I had to say that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project, and here's his little tail. He's all ready for some game fun. Have a great day, and I hope you'll come see me at joyslife.com. Bye!